This is Chris, the Idaho Painter. In this video, we've got a fireplace, a brick fireplace right here behind me, and we're actually gonna be painting, or what we actually call staining this fireplace. A lot of people uh, think of it as actually painting it, but we're gonna turn it to a solid color white, and we won't use a typical paint, but we're gonna use a solid color stain. And so, we're gonna show you the process, how we go about doing that. And kind of the trend right now is turning these fireplaces, brick, these dark brick fireplaces, into a more modern white looking fireplace. So I'm gonna show you how we go about doing that. It's just spraying and back brushing and spraying and back rolling this whole thing. And it's actually using the right product, not using a paint, but a solid color opaque stain. So I got this mantle all mass off right here. This is actually another product we're, project we're actually gonna be working on. And it's painting this, uh, this mantle right here. It's a oak mantle that's really grainy. They want this white too. And in order to make it look like it was supposed to be that way and not all grainy, we're gonna be putting a grain filler on it and painting that also too. So we're gonna show you that process. So the process when it comes to actually painting or staining this fireplace, we're actually just gonna use a solid color stain so you don't have to prime it because it's self-priming. So we're just gonna use a sprayer to get the product on fast. You can actually just brush and roll it, but by spraying it, it just gets it on a lot quicker. And so you can just spray it. We're gonna keep spraying it and back brushing it. You'll spray it back brush it let it dry and then you'll see spots that you miss spray back brush and let it dry because there's basically just an infinite number of angles on this thing so you got to keep spraying at different angles and you'll want it to dry and then you'll come back and redo it again so you just keep doing it and we'll probably do it probably about five times before it's actually completely covered so you're going to see that process so it's a solid color stain that we're using and it's self priming if you're going to try to paint it with a paint with a brick you'd have to prime it first which is just uh, more of a pain in the neck. When you're using a porous surface like this, just use a solid color stain. So here we go painting this fireplace now. We're actually staining it with solid, solid color stain. I've got an airless sprayer set up outside, just a really small airless sprayer. I'm just using a small 310 tip. I don't need anything large and I don't need a lot of pressure because I don't want to create a lot of overspray or dust and I'm just, I got a small fireplace here, so, and then I'm actually just gonna be back brushing it in just with an old throwaway brush. These, we just call them duster brushes. They're out in our vehicle. They're just older brushes, and because I, I don't care, I'm not gonna buy anything expensive because the brick is really rough and harsh, and the brush, brush is gonna get ruined at the end. So I got my airless sprayer set up, a 310 tip, low pressure, and then I'm just gonna start spraying it and back brushing it. I'm gonna spray one coat over this whole fireplace and it's gonna dry really quick. And then I'm gonna come back and just start looking for sp uh, spots and spaces that I missed. Cause it's got, you got spraying it up, got spraying it down the sides. It's kind of just endless, all the different angles and stuff that you'll need to spray it at. So just a simple process. You just gotta keep working it and keep letting it dry. And once it's dry, look for the spots you missed. Now you can brush and roll this thing, but it actually is gonna take a lot longer brushing and rolling it and trying to get it in all those cracks and crevices. It's just a lot easier with an airless sprayer. And if, you don't, if you've never operated an airless sprayer, use one, you, definitely, you can go down and get them from your local paint store or hardware store, just rent one for a day, and they're typically around 25 to $50 for a day, and they're very simple and easy to use. You have a video, a lot of actual videos that'll teach you how to use these airless sprayers if you've never used one before.
So I'm just continuing to spray along here. It's drying really fast. I'm not having to do a whole lot of back brushing because it's absorbing in really well and covering really well. So it's just, you just have to spray it and just determine. Sometimes we don't even have to back brush them at all, but we always just keep a, a brush handy to back brush. But as it dries, you'll just start to see your know, light spots on here that you know, you'll just need to hit with you know, another coat and so just continue working and working and working and we're actually doing a lot of painting in the inside of the house, we'll just keep coming back to it. So we're getting pretty close to getting this thing all pure white, then we're just going to pull off our masking. We do have a brass fireplace under here which is also not very trendy, it's kind of out of style, out of date. Uh, I'm not going to be painting this one, but I do have a video about when you can actually take and paint your brass fireplace to make it look up to date. We've actually done them where we've actually painted them a high gloss black. So we're going to be done here. Eventually we'll be pulling this masking off. We'll show you what it looks like when it's all completely and brand new. So there's a look at our finished product. The fireplace is all done. Mantle is all painted also. Looks a lot better, a lot more modern. So there you have it. The Fireplace is all stained, looks brand new again. Hope you've enjoyed this video.